Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Glenn. I'm Glenn. Today's practice is all about creativity, sensuality, and most importantly, enjoying yourself. Today's practice, I highly recommend using a block. If not, a pillow will do, but it won't be nearly as supportive as a block, obviously. If you don't have this, this is fine. Grab a pillow or two, it'll help immensely. If you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, it helps out immensely. So jump into something comfortable, hop on your mat, and let's go. So to get started, let's make our way onto our backs, grab our block, slowly roll down onto your back, press your hips up with your feet, and slide your block above the glutes, just below the tailbone. Hi, Suki. Just a nice supported posture here. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Bound ankle pose. Let your knees fall to the side. Thank you, Suki. I don't need my hair licked. Let your hips open. You can take this mudra here, placing your thumbs on your belly button. Just letting your hands rest. Remember to breathe here. We'll be here for a few breaths. Just let your body sink into this posture. Let yourself be supported by your block or your pillow. Think about being creative with your body. Think about enjoying and exploring different feelings you might have in this session. Today is all about enjoying yourself. On your next exhale, and when you're ready, you can grab the outsides of your knees, slowly bring them together. You can lift your feet off the floor, grab your knees here, give them a little hug, release your right leg down to the ground, heel come to rest on the mat or on the ground. Take your left knee, just draw some small circles with it. You don't have to go out too far to the side, just some small circles to warm up and prep the hips. If your body's creaking and popping, that's okay. Reverse your circles. Just light pressure on your knee. And release that leg to the ground. Bring up the other one. Give this knee a little hug. And start to do some small circles in one direction. Reverse those circles. And hug both knees in, still being supported by the black. Try to get your knees as close to the armpits as possible without forcing it. Go ahead and release that. Bring the knees together, feet together. Feet on the mat, press up and remove your block or your pillow. And slowly let your hips melt down with your palms flat on the ground. Bring your heels as close as you can to your glutes. 
and your legs are about hip width apart here. With an inhale, press up. Bridge pose, squeeze the glutes, try to press the hips as high as they can go. And exhale, slowly roll back down on your back, one vertebrae at a time. With another inhale, we're going to raise our hands up to the sky and exhale back down. Fingertip side of the hand should be resting on the ground, arms straight overhead. And with an exhale, roll them back down. Now our next motion, we're going to raise the hips and the arms at the same time for a rolling bridge. And our hips should reach uh, peak height uh, at the same time that our fingertips touch the ground. And all with one inhale. And exhale down. Inhale, lift the hips. Roll the arms. And exhale. Roll it all back down. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Back down, inhale, lift. See if you can hold this one for a breath or two. A lot of activation in the glutes, pressing our hips up as high as they can go. And exhale, roll it all back down. Palms come to the ground, hips come to the ground. I'll give your knees another hug here and bring your elbows inside of your knees and roll onto your back for happy baby. You can grab the bottoms of your feet like this. You can grab the outside if that suits you. You can grab your ankle, your shin, or you can hook two fingers around each toe. Just try to have your elbows on the inside of your knees here. And you can squeeze one in, squeeze the other. Extend, extend, try to have your feet flat like you're doing a squat on the ceiling. You can rock side to side, making your lower back happy. Just take some time here. Go ahead and release whatever binds you may have. Give your knees a hug. Tuck the chin slightly and start to rock back and forth. And eventually, we're going to rock so much, we're going to come up into a seat and cross the legs there. You scoot yourself back towards the back of your mat. And if you're able to, fold over and roll over the knees get into table posture. If not, you can swing your legs around. From your table posture, we'll do a couple cat cows here. So with an inhale, we're going to drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the chin. You can bend the elbows. And with an exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back. Try to press the back, the middle of the back, towards the ceiling. And inhale for cow. Dropping the belly, lifting the chest, lifting the chin. You can bend the elbows to turn up the treatment. And exhale, round, tuck the tailbone, drop the chin. Inhale, cow. And exhale, round. Last round of these, inhale. And exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Now just with our hips, we're going to make the same action we were doing for cat cow. So cow, lift the hips up. And for cat, tucking the hips under. Just try to play around with this motion here. Tucking the tailbone. Lifting the hips, 
tucking and lifting. Now try to stick your hips out one direction, stick them out the other direction, and try to bring all that together. So we're rolling just our hips. A few circles in one direction, and go ahead and switch directions. Whatever finds, whatever you find is enjoyable for your body. And come back to neutral. Still from our tail posture here, going to lift the left leg up and out, just like this. Try to have the leg even with the ground. And exhale back down. And inhale, we're going to lift. And try not to lean over just to get it lifted. If this is all you have, that's fine. Inhale, lift again. And exhale, back down. You should be squeezing the belly here. Try to imagine sucking your belly button to your backbone. That'll engage the core and that'll help with these. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. One more, inhale, lift, exhale, release. Now kick that left leg back, toes on the ground. If you want, you can lean back into it, get a nice stretch on the calf. Now lift that left leg where it's straight. Try to have the hips even. Bend the knee and try to imagine you have a glass on the bottom of your foot and you're trying to keep that glass steady. So with an inhale, we're going to lift our leg and also get our body into cow pose. So inhale, lift, lift the chin, lift the chest, and exhale back to neutral. Inhale, lift, and exhale back to neutral. Inhale, lift the leg, lift the chest, lift the chin, and exhale back to neutral. One last time, lift, and back to neutral. Go ahead and extend that leg, plant the toes, and come back into your neutral table posture. Same thing, opposite side here. Going to lift. The right leg for fire hydrant and exhale back down and we're still using our core to stay somewhat level in the hips and exhale down inhale lift and exhale down inhale lift exhale down one last time lift and exhale, back down. And then straighten that right leg, toes on the ground. Sink back into it for a second. Get a nice stretch on the calf. Come back to neutral. Lift the leg, pointing the toe, not pointing the toes, keeping the foot straight. Just bending the knee. And now again, we have that glass on the bottom of our foot. Hopefully it's even. Check if yours is. With an inhale, we're going to lift the leg and also lift the chin and chest. So here we go. Inhale, lift. And exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, lift. And exhale, back to neutral. Lift. And exhale, back to neutral. Two more times, lift. Exhale. Last time, lift with an inhale. And back to neutral with an exhale. Straighten that leg. Drop the toes back to the ground. And come back to your neutral table posture. And press back into downward facing dog. Since this is our first dog here, we can pedal out the legs. Slight bend in the knees. 
I'll lift the left leg and step that on the outside of the left hand. You can drop the knee here. Just sink down for a second into a runner's lunge. Just to stretch that hip out. Just a breath or two. Getting assistance here. Now watch out, Suki. Go ahead and lift the right knee. Come back into three-legged dog and plant that foot. And we'll lift the opposite side, the right leg, three-legged dog, and we'll bring that foot out and around the side of our right hand. Go ahead and drop the other knee and sink in, trying to stretch the hip for our runner's lunge. Breathing here. Once you're satisfied here, plant the toes, lift the left knee, kick back into three-legged dog, and downward dog. And we're going to look to the front of our mat and just walk forward gently in our forward fold here. Since this is our first one, we can bend the knees slightly, make that lower back happy. If you want, you can... Have a ragdoll modification, rock side to side, drop the chest or the chin down to the chest. Whatever suits you, you can straighten one leg, straighten the other, whatever you enjoy here. Go ahead and release your ragdoll modification, let the arms hang, and slowly. Roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time into your Tadasana mountain pose. Chest is lifted, chin level, strength in the feet, spiraling of the thighs, belly slightly in and up. Inhale and exhale. Now from here, grab that block or that pillow, and we're going to put our block or our pillow as high up between your legs as it'll go. And we're giving this block a squeeze. Feet are about hip width apart here, hands to heart center. And with an inhale, we're going to raise our hands up. Slight back bend, still squeezing that block. And then we're going to exhale bending the legs, coming into a chair pose. A breath or two here. And each time we're going to do a slightly bigger back bend and try to get slightly lower in our chair pose. So here we go, inhale, rise, back bend, and exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise. Back bend and exhale, sink down. Try to sink down lower in our chair pose. Inhale, rise and exhale, sink down. Still keeping pressure on this block between our legs. Inhale, rise and exhale, sink down. This is our last round, so let's make it our deepest back bend. Inhale, rise. And exhale, sink down. All right, good job, everyone. Go ahead and remove that prop, set it off to the side for now. Lift your left leg. Knee straight, try to bring that knee out and back down. Keeping balance on the right foot, try not to touch the ground with this leg. Lift it up, out, and down for a hip circle. Three more of these, up, out, and down. Try to keep your body straight, 
try to keep from doing one of these. Up, out, down, last one, bring it up, bring the knee out, and back down. I'll plant that left foot. You can bring the heels together here. If not, you can keep that hip width. But try to raise up onto the toes and try to slowly lower down, squeezing the knees, squeezing the thighs together. Lower down onto those heels. Thighs are par parallel with the ground. Keep this balance for a second. And go ahead and plant the hands. Step back one leg at a time to high plank. And into table posture. Now swing the right leg around. Bring the toes about 45 degrees off of your mat. Spin the back foot around. Back foot should be pointed straight. Bring your left hand up and float this leg off the ground. Try to keep the toes pointed straight. Try to keep this leg parallel with the ground. And exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. You can gaze up at the hand if you like. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And lower. Now we're going to inhale and lift again, but keep the leg there. Bend the knee and take this hand, grab the ankle, and just gentle pressure pulling back, lifting the chest and the chin, spreading the hips open. And if you're able to, stay here for a breath or two and enjoy this posture. Go ahead and release the bind of your ankle, straighten the leg. Lift the arm, look to where your hand's going to go on your mat, plant the hand, plant the knee, spin the right knee around, push up into high plank, and chaturanga vinyasa down into your upward dog or your high cobra. Flip the toes and into downward dog. Now look to where you're going to step and start to step. Between the hands and rise slowly into your Tadasana. Hands come to heart center. Now the opposite side. So shift over to the left foot, pressure in the left foot, raise the right knee, and start to draw those circles with our right hip. Knee up, out, and down, trying to keep these toes from touching. Up, out, down, lift, bring it out, and roll it down, out, and down, last one, up, out, and back down, plant that foot, again you can keep hip width, or you can bring the heels together, squeeze the knees together, the thighs together, Lift off the heels and slowly sink down into our toe pose. Glutes touch the heels, knees crack, thighs parallel with the ground. And go ahead and plant your hands. Step back into your high plank and lower down to your table posture. I'm going to spin the left leg about 45 degrees off the mat. Uh, weight in the left hand, spinning around to our modified side plank, lifting the right hand up, straighten the right arm, lifting the right leg, and we're exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Try to keep this leg parallel with the ground, lots of energy in the thigh. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. And this last time, we're going to keep it lifted. Inhale, bend the knee. 
Take your right hand, bind with the right ankle, and bring this leg back and lift the chin and the chest. Again, if you're ever able to stay here, that's great. Enjoy it for a breath or two. Go ahead and release that bind. Straighten the leg, straighten the arm. Look to where your hand's gonna go. Plant that hand. Right knee back to the ground. Left knee spins back around. Into your high plank. And lower down to Chaturanga Vinyasa. Flow through. Upward dog. And flip the toes. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk your hands and feet together into the middle of your mat. Circle your arms up, touching the palms overhead. And bring the hands down to heart center. Now step your right foot forward towards the front of your mat. Left foot back, toes facing out. Arms out into your warrior two. Try to find a nice deep warrior here. The right heel should line up with the middle of the left foot. Sink down into your warrior. And reverse your warrior. You can take a bind behind your back. Gaze up at the hand. And exhale down into extended side angle. And come up for your warrior. Spin your right foot where it matches your left foot. And if you're able to, come as wide as where your wrist stack over your ankle. Hands can come to heart center here. We can lift up. And exhale. Hands come behind the back to support. Thumbs facing each other. Fingers wrap around the outside of the hip. With an inhale, we can lift our chest and chin. And with an exhale and from the hips, roll forward into a wide-legged standing forward folds. And when you're comfortable, release your hands. Hands can come to the mat just like this. You can reach back and pull if you like, or you can be here for support if you can't. Quite reach the ground, you can grab a block or two. Just give yourself some support. From this forward fold, walk our hands over to the left side. Grab the left ankle with the right hand. Left arm comes out to a T. And while trying to keep your hips level back here, you can rotate out for a twist. And exhale, release, walk the hands slowly over to the opposite side. Left hand, right ankle, trying to keep our knees straight. Right arm comes out to a T, hip stays straight, and rotate for a twist. And exhale, release. Back to the center. And place your hands on your hips and roll up using the power of your glutes. Nice and straight. Now from here, your hands can come back to heart center. Uh, move your feet 45 degrees out away from you. Try to not have the knees caving in, but give a little bit of muscle action in the glute to take the knees out. Tuck the tailbone if, if that suits you. And we'll bring our arms into goddess pose. Try to sink down into goddess pose. Lift the left heel off the ground as much as you can. Come over to the left, drop that heel down. Lift the right heel and drop that down. Go ahead and bend to your left. 
straighten the arm, straighten the right arm, and come back to center. Bend to the right, straighten the left arm, bicep comes by the ear, and back to center. Now we're going to work those two things in to the same movement. We have a nice strong goddess pose here. So lift the left heel, and we're going to bend, try to keep your balance, bend to the left, straighten the right hand, come back to center, and plant that heel down. Lift the right heel, bend over to your right, left arm comes overhead, back to center, and down, each time sinking further into our goddess pose. Again, lift the left, bend left, right bicep, right ear, come back to center, plant and lower. Lift the, if you need to readjust your position, that's fine. Lift your right heel, bend to the right, left bicep, left ear, come back to center and down. Now straighten your legs, straighten your arms, and fold forward. And place your hands on the back of your hips if you like. Roll back up. Go ahead and straighten that right foot to where it's facing out again. And pivot your left foot over into warrior two with the left leg bent. Nice deep warrior here. Try to get this knee deep into a warrior of two. Gaze over the left hand. Inhale and exhale, reverse your warrior. You can take a bind behind the back. Gaze up at this hand, still bending in the legs. And exhale, extend inside angle. And inhale back up to the center, warrior two. And windmill the arms down, place the left hand on the ground, right hand, spin the right leg around, kick back the left leg into high plank, and lower all the way down to your belly. Release the toes, shift your way over to the left side of your mat. Extend the right arm out, roll onto your back. Get center yourself on your mat here. And with your legs bent, soles of the feet on the ground, you can extend the left leg, fold it, place the left ankle over the right knee, arms out to a T, Move your props out of the way. Arms out to a T. And we're going to twist over to your right. So right, or excuse me, left foot comes to rest on the ground. Outside of the right heel or ankle on the ground. If you like, you can extend your left arm overhead for a side body stretch. If not, you can leave this arm out to a T and you can twist your chin over to the opposite side of your bend. Find whatever feels good for your body. We'll be here for a few breaths. After your next exhale, inhale, float the knees back to center, and take a twist to the opposite side. Arms still out to a T here. Just a few small breaths.
Inhale back to center. Lift the right leg, or excuse me, the left leg, and set the sole of that foot on the ground. Inhale, lift the right. Bend the knee, right ankle over left knee. And we're going to twist to our left. So the right foot on the ground, outside of the left ankle comes on the ground. Again, if you want to extend the right hand overhead for side body stretch, or you can keep that arm out to a T, you can look over to your right, whatever suits you here. And we'll be here for a few breaths. On your next exhale, inhale, float those knees back up to center. And with an exhale, twist over to the opposite side. And an exhale, inhale, float back to center. Straighten the right leg, plant that foot on the ground. And straighten the right leg. Give the left knee a hug. Try to get your left knee close to your bicep or close to your armpit uh, without forcing it too much. And take that knee and let it fall out to the side, trying to keep both glutes on the ground while you do this. Pass that knee back up to the center and extend it down. Bend the opposite leg. Give that a hug towards the armpit. And pass it out to the side. Again, try not to lift the opposite hip. Try to keep it on the ground. And pass that back up to the center. Last hug. Set that foot. Bring the other foot on the ground. Press your hips up. Grab your block or your pillow. Set it on the lowest level if you have a block. And rest your hips on the block just above your glutes, just below your tailbone. Pinch the shoulder blades together just a little bit. And extend one leg at a time. Adjust where you need to. And let your heels and your feet just play out. Your palms can face up. They can face down. One hand can come on your belly. The other hand on your chest. If you like to feel yourself breathe. And as we sink into our Sarvasana here, corpse pose, we'll just do a quick body scan. So picture your toes, picture the bottoms of your feet, the tops of your feet. Just relax and let them sink. Let them be supported by the earth beneath them. Feel the shins, the calves, the space around them the back of the knee, the back of the thigh, the tops of the thighs. Just let them be relaxed 
and let their weight sink down. Imagine the glutes and the hips, how they're being supported by the block, which is supported by the earth. Just let them sink. Let your hips open up. Find a space which you enjoy. Imagine the space of the lower back, the space of the front of you, the space of the upper back being supported by the earth, the chest being open. Just let them be supported. Find a comfortable position for your fingers up to your palms, to the back of your hand, being supported by the earth, if that's where you are. Bottoms of your arms, the tops of your arms, your shoulders. Just let the weight of everything fall. If you're still here with me in the video, thank you very much for watching all this way. If you could leave a comment down below, tell me what your favorite posture or sequence was from today. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. Hopefully you were creative with your body. Hopefully you felt a little bit of sensuality If you like, I invite you to find something that you enjoy, whether it's a favorite meal, a favorite movie, a favorite place you like to be, go do that thing and enjoy yourself. If you want to continue here in your Shavasana, your corpse pose, that's great. If you'd like to follow along, go ahead and bend one leg, bend the other, press the hips up halfway, remove the block or pillow, and slowly float the hips down. Left leg, press off the right, and come into a fetal posture. Stacking the hands and the arms, let the head hang heavy. Just be here for a couple seconds, let your nervous system catch up. When you're ready, press yourself up and come into an easy cross-legged seated position. Walk your hips back. Together with the last inhale, raise the arms up, touch the palms overhead, bring the hands down to heart center. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much.